very few people get a chance to spend the day in Gannett City. Access is open, but the way is often paved with hazards. Gannett cities are built high in cliffs, cliffs such as those at Ailsa Craig, which is a gigantic volcanic plug rising from the sea off the Ayrshire coast. To visit such a city, one needs a large boat of powerful wings. The inhabitants live in high-rise flats overlooking the sea. Many have penthouse suites, and, as in any other city, it is noisy, smelly, and parking is a never-ending problem. You can hang around for ages waiting for a free space. And you think that you'll never get home with the shopping. When Mr Gannett gets home, his wife greets him affectionately. She hates being alone in this crowded city. Some of the neighbours look quite tough, quite fierce and frightening. She worries about accidents in the home. Some gannets pick up that nasty green twine for their houses. And the rescue services are scarce and hardly ever get there in time to save lives. Some mothers do not know that the gannet rule is only one child per household. Big Brother, of course, knows this, and he is determined to put things right. The other residents, the baby shags, are up in arms about it. Shocking. Disgusting. The whirlpool bath is quite crowding enough. Now here's a couple of swells. They live in the best hotel. And they never fly over land. So they miss our city smells. Some, of course, can afford the penthouse suite to raise their families. And some, of course, like to be alone. And as in any city, there are children of all ages everywhere. It is a place of wonder, but certainly not one for the casual visitor. Imagine treatment like this when you've just dropped in from Africa. Gannets like peace and tranquility in all their cities. It is no place for man. <laughs>